The trick to multiplying decimals is to work out the calculation without the decimal pointing and then put your decimal pointing back at the end of the question. So in example one we've got to work out 1.74 times 6. So I'm going to ignore the decimal and just work out 174 times 6. So if you work this out in your normal method for multiplication, I'm going to choose short multiplication. So if you work out 174 times 6, so 4 times 6 is 24, 7 times 6 is 42, plus 2 is 44, 1 times 6 is 6, plus the 4 is 10. So 174 times 6 is 1044. So all we have to do next is put the decimal point back in to our answer. So if we look back at the question, what you have to do is count the number of numbers after the decimal point in the question. So we've got two numbers after the decimal point here. There's no numbers after the decimal point in this number. So in our answer, there'll be two numbers after the decimal point. So 1.74 times 6 will be 10.44. So as you can see you've got your two numbers after the decimal point. So let's do the same method on example 2. So this time we've got to work out 7.14 times 0 0.9. So we've got two decimal numbers here. But it's exactly the same method. So ignore the decimals and let's work out 714 times 9. So again let's go with short multiplication. So 4 times 9 is 36, 1 times 9 is 9 plus the 3 gives you 12, 7 times 9 is 63 plus the 1 is 64. So again we just need to insert the decimal point now. So count how many numbers you got after the decimal point in the question. So we've got one number here, two numbers and another number on this one. So we've got three numbers all together after the decimal points. So in our answer we're going to have three numbers after the decimal point. So we're going to put our decimal point here. So as you can see you've got three numbers here after the decimal point so it's 6.426.